And now to a team that we're so happy with their score in this short program. Polina Palman and Gabriel Rinaldi. It was going really very, very well. Pierce combo spin at the end of the program for Polina Palma and Gabriel Ronaldi from Italy could throw them off the podium. Yeah, they have a four point lead over the Canadian team and will that be the price mm. they pay for that error? They had a pretty good program with some struggles to out, but some great elements as well. And I was thinking how well they were packaged. The yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean was a good choice for the team. You can see Polina just struggling to contain the disappointment for that final element. We seem to be holding that four-point lead throughout the program until the end, and this could be ever so close. We'll find out in a few moments, of course. <laughs> and here is the triple twist. That is in at a level two, so two out of the four features. That's good with a plus GOE. Here's the throw double loop. Good 
ride on flow on that edge. Sorry, Mark, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say that when they did the throw double loop, I wrote down the word composed because I thought whilst they know that that's not as difficult as some others, they appeared yeah. very well composed at that point, reserving the energy for what they knew would be bigger value on with the throw triple cycle later on. And to keep the quality, to get mm. as many points as they possibly can on that double. There's the throw triple cycle, a little bit of a lean, but great, straight, strong back on the landing. And you could argue, as we look at their Group 4 lift, that after nailing that through Triple Salco and then this Group 4 lift, that perhaps they thought they were home and dry, and that may be part of the little loss of concentration for the pair combo spin. Now, a pair combo spin at level 4 from the Canadian leaders with a good grade of execution at over 5 points. Polina and Gabriele currently have a combo spin coming in at less than one and a half mm. and they need i think it's an 88.27 to take the lead and they might fall just a bit short of that we'll see in just a few moments but hopefully whilst it'll be disappointing to realize that they're not likely to come away with a medal here if we compare the score here from the cup of austria last year in the junior grand prix the significant strides forwards are obvious. They're going to be about 15 points higher than Yeah, that. and actually, it's not out of the realm of possibilities that they're well, if they're fourth here, they can make the final still. It's yeah. not. And I mean, I'm saying all that. We've still got two people to go. I'm, I'm being. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that the yeah. the current teams in first and second will maintain that. It yeah, who knows? Seen. It's a little bit more unpredictable in juniors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and indeed, this. Throw triple saco and triple twist. The first time their coaches explained that they've used those elements, and yet that throw triple saco and the split triple twist at the beginning looked like they've performed them, yeah, comfortably before. Exactly. And they're just crossing their fingers that this works out. Oh, look at the pace! Oh no! It's just like, come on! An 82.78. That is fourth in the free program. That is not going to be enough. The 132.06. <laughs> And that'll put them currently in the third place with two teams to come. And that's such a shame. But they're on the right track. There's no question yeah. of that. Hopefully Disappo they'll see beyond it. Disappointment today, but again for tomorrow, we hope.